Hey everybody, it's Jenny Sivy. So in the last video, we basically started the beginning of the HVAC system and talked about where the air came into the building at the louvers. So this week, we're going to talk about the next thing the air will see, which are dampers, because you have to control how much air you bring into the building. So let's roll the intro and discuss what is a damper. Okay, so a damper is a valve that controls the amount of airflow in the HVAC system or in its components. You can have dampers in ductwork or part of a component like an air handler, VAV box, or a diffuser. They are a basic and important part of the HVAC system. There are lots of types of dampers. There are control dampers, balancing dampers, backdraft dampers, pressure relief dampers, life safety dampers, and industrial dampers. Control dampers control the airflow in the HVAC system. These can be standalone in the system or be a component of another piece of equipment. Balancing dampers balance the airflow in the HVAC system. Balancing is essentially the process of adjusting the air to deliver the correct amount of airflow into a zone in the system. Backdraft dampers allow airflow in only one direction to prevent backdraft. Pressure relief dampers are backdraft dampers that have a start open pressure so that if the pressure exceeds that predetermined point, the damper will open and allow the pressure to be relieved. Life safety dampers are put in openings in walls, ceilings, and floors to prevent the spread of smoke and fire. Industrial dampers are heavy duty dampers that are used in severe conditions. Industrial dampers can be used in applications like tunnels and blast situations. Let's make a little room and draw a basic damper. We'll start with a frame and we'll draw in three blades. This is where the damper shafts would come through so that you could rotate. This is the pivot point. So that's our frame. Straighten up this back wall a little bit here. You would also have a linkage that connects the three blades together so you only have to operate one blade to get all the blades to move. You'll also have a jam seal. This is here to prevent leakage between the frame and the blades. And then each of the blades will have a blade seal which seals the blades when they're fully closed. Dampers can be manually operated or controlled by an actuator. Let's make a little room again and look at different types of blades. First of all, dampers can have opposed blades. So let's draw this real quick. Each blade moves in the opposite direction of the blade next to it, so it kind of looks like this. The benefit of this is that the air moves pretty much straight through the damper regardless of the position of the blades. This gives you good uniform airflow leaving the damper. There are also parallel blade dampers. In this case, they all move in the same direction parallel to each other. The challenge here is that as the damper closes off, your air is going to come in and be directed towards one side of the damper. Parallel blades typically require more torque to open but less torque to close compared to opposed blade dampers. In VAV boxes, you'll see a single blade damper. This is a single blade that just rotates around the damper shaft. In diffusers, you'll also see a butterfly type damper. This opens and closes by rotating these small blades. More commonly in controlled dampers, you'll see V-groove blades that look kind of like this. 
These are good for velocities less than 1,500 feet per minute, and noise is not a factor in the application. And then you'll see airfoil blades that look kind of like this. These can do over 2,000 feet per minute. These are also quiet and have low pressure drop. Make our little room again. So I mentioned that the linkage connects the blades together. They're at the end of the damper frame and are driven by operating a single blade called the drive blade. You could mount the actuator right on the drive blade and now it's direct drive. You can also have what is called a jack shaft. I probably should have left myself a little more room here, but I don't think it helped my drawing anyway. So let's draw in our linkage. And then the jack shaft is actually offset from the damper itself. Let's draw in one of the blades here. The jack shaft would connect to that blade and you would control it from the jack shaft, not directly from the end of the blade. Let me try to draw in the rest of this damper real quick. Okay, so you should get the idea here. In this case, you would mount the actuator on the jack shaft and then this would control the blades. This is commonly used when you have multiple sections of a damper connected together or when you want to internally mount the actuator. So there you have an overview of dampers. We'll go into more detail on the different types of dampers in future videos. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and thanks for watching.